We are in your universe now, Doctor. Why should it matter to me in which room you die? I can kill you just as easily here as anywhere. Fear me. I've killed hundreds of Time Lords. Fear me. I've killed all of them. I don't understand. There isn't a forest in here. Yeah. You're right. You've completely won. Oh, you can kill us in oodles of really inventive ways. But before you do, killers allow me and my friends, Amy and Rory, to congratulate you on being an absolutely worthy opponent. Congratulations. Yep, you've defeated us, me and my lovely friends here. And last, but definitely not least, the TARDIS Matrix herself, a living consciousness, you ripped out of this very control room and locked up into a human body. And look at her. Doctor, she stopped breathing. Enough. That is enough. No, it's never enough. You force a TARDIS into a body so she'd burn out safely a very long way away from this control room. Her flesh body can't hold the TARDIS matrix and live. Look at her body house. And you think I should mourn her? No. I think you should be very, very careful about what you let back into this control room. You took her from her home. And now she's back in the box again. And she's free. No. Doctor, stop this. Ow! Stop this now. Look at my girl. Look at her go. They are on the inside. See how? Stop. That's your problem. Ah. The size of a planet, but inside you are just so small. Make it stop. Finish him off, girl. Very dark in here. I'm here. I've been looking for a word. A big, complicated word, but so sad. I found it now. What word? I'm alive. Alive isn't sad. It's sad when it's over. I'll always be here. But this is when we talked. And now even that has come to an end. There's something I didn't get to say to you. Goodbye. No. I just wanted to say. Hello, Doctor. It's so very, very nice to meet you. Please. I don't want you to. 